Okay. Welcome back, Master Emil. Hello, Sebastian. I'm glad you're doing well. Is something the matter, butler? Yes, well, I am searching, sir, for a way to restore Master Emil's body to its previous state. Oh, Sebastian. Regrettably, the above-ground archives are somewhat limited. According to my information, the records related to Master Emil were st are stored in the second basement floor. Things would be easier if I could delve into the manor's underground research facility. Somebody squeaked outside. But what with all the creatures there, blah blah blah, beat them up, get the notes. You want us to go down there and take out some shades? Oh no, I can't let you do that for me. Knock it off, Emil. We're friends. This is what friends do. We kill people for each other. Let's head through here. And then let's head ooh, out here. And then let's poke this. Let's make that happen. Sweet. And then let's run down here. All right. Let's see if we can't just rush through this. Well, if the doors will open more quickly, perhaps. I like that uh, we still have the key card so we don't have to worry about, uh, we don't really have to worry about, you know, gathering the keys again. It's pretty easy and quick, which is convenient. It's one of the more merciful of the side quests. even have to worry about it. So I believe that the uh, the notes in question that we're looking for should be in one of the small covered rooms. I think coming up right here pretty soon. Where it should be. Alright, sorry about that. Um, you didn't miss anything important. We're just... I, I believe this is the area where we should find the uh, papers that we need to help Emil. Is that it? I think that might be it. Alright, pick it up. There we go. What's this? It appears to be a list of names and addresses. Perhaps they are, were employed at the laboratory. The test has half faded by this point, but I see one of them used to live... Or, the text, not the test. Used to live in a coastal town. A coastal town, they must mean seafront. The woman is most likely dead by now, but perhaps a short search of her home will turn up something. Employee list. And so they kindly warp us out of the area. And I guess we'll head over to seafront. And see what we can see. Alright. Oh, here we go. We did. We fought this thing like three times, four times. Why? We've avenged the postman. Let's go report back. Simple machine. Sweet. I'm glad that thing finally appeared. Right after completing another side quest, too. It's perfect. It's great timing. Everything's coming together. Steadily. Steadily coming together. Hmm. 
Okay, right above the entrance. Ah, I think I know where that is. Let's just go right over here. Up here. Up here. Right here. Mind if I ask you something? Not at all! Did anyone in your family ever do weapon research? Anything like that? Uh, yeah, actually. I think one of my older relatives used to do something like that. Why are you asking me this? I'm looking into some for research. You have any old records or anything? Oh man, maybe. I don't know. If you hold on, I'll go take a look around. Sorry about that. This is all I could find. It's a letter. How strange. It is written in a language that I do not recognize. Yeah, I don't recognize it either. We could never... We never could figure out what this was about. But it was important, whatever it was. She kept this thing under lock and key at all times. You know, it might be some kind of code that we can decipher back at the lab. You mind if we take this? Eh, go ahead. We've been keeping it around because we don't know what else to do with it. Let's go back to the manor and show this to the butler. The butler! Alright. So now once we're ready, we can go do that. In the meantime, let's go to the post office. Whoever else we need to talk to, I don't remember exactly, but we'll go talk to the postman first. Killed the shade in the southern plains. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know what to do about the postman. Quit. I guess I'll figure some out. Anyways, here's your reward: thirty thousand gold. You know, despite the game saying that there's this huge shortage of supplies and um, you know, all that stuff, people are doing pretty well economically if they can just give us 30,000 gold at the tip of a hat. I mean, granted we're doing some important stuff for them that's probably really dangerous to anybody else, but, you know, I mean, phew, it's crazy. Oh wait, okay, I remember now. Oh, we're only at 88% quest completion. I would have thought it would have been more than that. No! No! Don't talk- No! Don't talk to me. I splurged my money and ate like a king. No, I'm lucky to get one meal a day. You probably splurged your money giving it to me. Got the ingredients. That's uh, quite the fish, isn't it? I wasn't expecting it to be so slimy and smelly and gross. I don't suppose you'd help me out with the prep work. Sorry, the only enough work I know is cutting up shades. Oh, well, I guess this won't be going on the menu. Sorry about making you go all that way. See? Ah, the payoff is non-existent, except for getting paid. Uh, and you don't even care about getting paid, because what are you going to buy? Nothing. 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 It's alright, when my recipes don't turn out, I just feed them to the seals. Which is why they probably lie around all day, they're probably recovering from horrible stomach aches. So that's why they're all so fat. Well, that too, I guess. Bon appetit, seals. Okay. Here's Butler. Looks like it's encrypted. Yep. Let's see, it starts with, Dearest Emil, it appears to be a message for you, Master Emil. A letter, is it? To me? Dearest Emil, you do not know me, but I know you. My research has twisted your life in unfathomable ways. I tried to make up for this by serving as your mother, but I know now that my effects or my efforts fell far short. I would have done anything to save you from this fate, and you will never know how guilty I feel that I could not. I remember her now. Hundreds of years ago, there was a woman who watched over myself and my sister. The other scientists treated us like lab rats, but that woman, she was really nice to us. I think she kind of made me what I am today. The skeleton. <laughs> Your mother, huh? You know, I didn't find a way to fix my body, but I don't care anymore. This letter helps me recover my mother, and that means more to me than anything. Aww. That's nice. Good little resolution. Not what we were expecting, but... Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's check out this room. Oh. It's this. 
think this is it. Pile of junk. Is this the treasure? A pile of junk! It seems that the treasure map was a ruse. Now what? His wife isn't gonna like this at all. Oh man. Sure hope this doesn't lead to more backtracky hijinks. By the way, it will. Ah! Whoa, that was close. That was actually pretty cool. I dashed, I missed it by a little bit, and then I just evaded right onto that platformy, bridgey, wooden thingamajig. Great. I love it. So no joke, everybody, I have been recording for the past hour and 51 minutes. I just wanted all of you to know that. Uh, this is probably going to take up like four or five episodes. This is honestly going to be even longer than um, the previous excursion into side-questing hell. Hello. Hello. Follow the map and all we found was a pile of junk. Yeah, can I ask you to sell my jade hair ornament? Hey, that sounds like a Demon Souls reference. The jade hair ornament. There is one in Demon Souls as well. Uh, and purchase something shiny with the proceeds. Then we can give it to him and pretend that you found it. Are you sure? This looks pretty valuable. It's because it is, but if it keeps that idiot husband of mine home safe, then it's worth it. Well, should we obey the wife's request and sell our jade hair ornament? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? I'd personally tell her to keep it, but... Then again... It sounds like it's more important to her that her husband is safe, so... Even if he is an idiot. I'm not sure what happens if you tell her to keep it. I think I told her to keep it in my first playthrough, because I figured, you know, oh, it's not worth it. He's just, you know, crazy. It's a dead end, it's a dead end, but, um, I don't know, actually. Maybe, maybe I did, uh, maybe I did sell it or something. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know how it ends if you, uh, tell her to keep it. She might... Eh, I don't know if she'd still give you a reward. Probably, you know, they have to give you something for all that trouble, but... But yeah, it's just that kind of ambiguity. I, I like that there's, there's still gray area, even in something as simple as just a silly little side quest about... You know, helping helping a uh, a woman get her husband some some treasure so he doesn't go off looking for other treasure maps and risking getting himself killed and eaten by shades and all that stuff. You know, it's, it's cool. Let's. Talk to the strange thing shopkeeper. You want to trade this hair ornament for some shiny? Yeah, I think I got just what you need. How? How's about I give you this old gold coin for it? Obtain gold coin. La la la. All right, so we take the gold coin and give it to the lady, and things happen. Things of a side quest completey type nature. We'll protect this village while you're gone. Hey, here's the blacksmith. Ooh. Yes, yes, gold. That map was right all along. I'm sh not sure if it's enough to roll around in, but maybe I can make it work. Oh God, what's he gonna do with that gold coin? Oh, how wonderful. Now will you please promise to stop with all this treasure hunting? I promise, honey. From now on, it's nothing but good, honest work for me. Oh, but wait, there's one more thing. Here, this is the first map I ever found. Go ahead, take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Hmm, the map's a lot more cryptic than the last one. Yes, I feel confident the junket will lead 
us two is the same. Come, we have little time to waste with these trifles. Yeah, but don't you want to check it out anyway? Aren't you the least bit curious? Curiosity beyond uh, such things is beyond my comprehension. It's called the thrill of the hunt, Vice. This is a target to Popo and see if she can help with the map. Did you get any new weapons? No, you didn't. You said you had new weapons in stock, you liar. Hey. Here it is. Hmm, the code on this is pretty tricky, but I think it's a map of the northern plains. It mentions something about the place where the Iron Bridge starts, and that's all I can read. Sorry I can't be more help. No, this is great, Popo. Thanks! Oh. Alright. So yeah, I actually know the location it's talking about, so we're fine. We just have to take a trip out to the, uh, the bridge near the Forest of Myth, and we'll be good. Alright, so this bridge right over here is where we're heading. Um, this is... I'm not sure if it's actually above or below. I think it's below the bridge, so I'll check there first. Yep, there it is. See? That's our treasure. Got the Labyrinth Shout. It was the Labyrinth Shout. Wow. It would appear this latest treasure map was the real thing. Yeah, I'd say this is an ample reward. The damaged map is complete. This is Labyrinth Shout. It's a very heavy spear weapon, and it's actually really crappy. Check that out. 168 damage, 10 magic power. Not to mention it's slow as hell. Why would you want to use this? I don't know. Anyways, let me just see. Alright, all we have left is the Blue Marlins. I am going to uh, stop this video. And we're going to go to Seafront. And we're going to go on ahead and take care of the Blue Marlin quest. And once we're done with that, we have one more fisherman quest to do. Uh, we have the flowers, which might just take a whole separate video because, honestly, that's going to take forever and a half. And uh, from there, uh, you know, going to finish any weapon completion we need to do. Um, there's one optional legendary fish I'm gonna show off. Um, there are... Or, there's one legendary flower that you can get that I'm gonna show off since it's kind of... The, uh, the pink flower is on the road to getting that, so I figure, you know, why not just go all the way with that. And, uh, past that? I mean, I think we're pretty much good. So I'm gonna save the game, save our progress. And, uh... Yes, indeed. I'll see you guys next time, uh, where we will go on ahead and take care of the remaining side quests, I guess. Well, at least the fisherman side quests. I don't know about the flower side quest, because that's gonna, that's gonna be something else. It's gonna be a whole different creature. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. Um... I hope these are helping in some way, because they are a pain in the ass to do, and if if, uh, if they aren't helping, then that's a shame for both you guys and for me, because, oh man, oh my goodness. I love you, Nier. I, l I really do. You're an awesome game, but sometimes you just, you're a little bit too much. Anyways, I'll see you later, guys.